Hello. Uh, just a couple of things to make sure things are clarified here. When you uh, graph, you'll see there's three possible types of solutions. And, and the first one, when you have two lines, okay, they can cross. And that's what they do most often. And that's what we did on the last uh, slide and what we've looked at. If you have two lines that cross, you get one intersection point, and that intersection point is the solution. Now there are a couple other possibilities. Okay? One of the other possibilities is you have parallel lines. Okay? You'll know they're parallel because parallel lines have the same slope. Okay? They have the same slope, okay? but different y intercepts. So that makes them parallel, like train tracks they'll never cross. So for example, I have y equals uh, 4 thirds x minus 9, and y equals 4 thirds x plus 1. They'll never cross because they have the exact same steepness. And you see it in the uh, picture, in the middle picture here. Okay? The other one that's a little more awkward is that picture on the right, which says it's the same line. Okay? So if it's the same line, it touches everywhere. Now that's very rare, okay? But if you get it in something like this, you could, you could be told, uh, I have two equations. One is y equals 5x plus 7, and the other one is 15x minus 3y equals negative 21. And you're like, they don't look the same. They don't look like they have the same slopes. So they're probably just two lines that cross, okay? But what you find is when you look at this second one here, uh, and I take uh, negative 3y and I leave it here, but I move the 15x to the other side, I have negative 15x and I have negative 21, right? Now what I want to do is I want to divide by um, negative 3 to get y by itself. So I have to divide everything by negative 3. That's a rule we've looked at before. So negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1, giving us 1y. Negative 15 divided by negative 15, or by negative 3 is 5, giving us 5x. And negative 21 divided by negative 3 is, is a positive 7, right? And then when we look at it, we say, well, hold on. This line here, and if I rearrange this line into y equals mx plus b, this line here are exactly the same, okay? Again, that's rare, okay? Uh, but that can happen the odd time, and that's why they show you that third possibility. Generally, you get two lines across, which is one solution, and it's the point of intersection. Okay? Or you'll get parallel lines, and they don't ever cross, therefore they have no solution. But this third possibility exists, which means every point is a solution because they're exa the exact same line. Okay? We won't really focus on those, but it is a possibility. Uh, that uh, brings us, I think, one more, and then we're at the end of the uh, slides for this week.